Happy New Year! So, going around the internet, people are asking, will 2019 be the year of the Linux desktop? And I've just completed one year with Linux. This is my first year of actually using it full-time as my primary operating system at home. Uh, last year, 2018, I bought myself a ThinkPad T540P. The P is important because it has a processor uh, socket instead of being soldered on there. And of course, I dropped a bunch of money on the fastest available i7 processor uh, for this machine, the 4900MQ, or at least one of. I think there might be something faster, but um, it's running Debian. Uh, what is it? We're on Buster, um, the testing edition, because uh, I wanted to live dangerously. And, you know, I've been able to do just about everything. Um, the only thing that I don't have is uh, OneNote, and I have to use OneNote online, which is, it. it is what it is. Um, but everything else I've been able to do has just been business as usual. I mean, uh, I do have to often um, APT get something uh, <laughs> before I, I, I do that. And I do a lot of Googling. Uh, and as I go, I, I say, all right, I need to do something. Let me document it in my OneNote on Chrome. Um, you know, so uh, there's just been so many different learning experiences that I've had over the year. Um, let's see, for example, getting Audacity installed was a fairly straightforward process. You just do apt git install and then it's running or getting Dropbox installed. Run the things and then you have your folders. The same for Chrome, which was probably one of the first ones that I actually installed. Now, there have been plenty of failures as well. Uh, early on, I wanted Office because I wanted OneNote. And I have yet to get Office working in Wine. It just, I, I prefer the newer versions of it and it only supports older ones. And I just never got it working. Uh, I didn't also put that much time into it. I just moved my documents on my Dropbox and used my PC. Um, and I held out for the longest time, but you can actually play games on Linux. Most of my experimentation with this ends poorly. I mean, not everything is horrible. We survive. Everybody lands safely. But more importantly, I learned a whole lot this year. I mean, it's just kind of crazy from uh, how to navigate through some weird issues. Uh, I ran out of disk space. Um, I was able to clone my drive from a small drive to a large drive and figured out that I had some weird disk partitioning from when I had set this thing up originally. Uh, when I was first getting started, I think I installed Debian like five or six times, different installers. Uh, I found that uh, there was a bunch of neat utilities for downloading audiobooks. Um, just it opened up a world of of new things and new ways to do it. I'd been, you know, working on Windows for most things, uh, and now I just feel a lot more comfortable uh, with the Linux CLI interface, um, be it, you know, regular use for, you know, just loading uh, audiobooks on my phone uh, to playing video games to, um, you know, writing up a paper on OpenOffice or a, a spreadsheet. Um, you know, I... I also had to figure out a bunch of different things in order to just use my computer. Uh, the uh, ThinkPad uh, wireless card inside here uh, is not a open source uh, driver, and so you have to download their non-free software in order to use it. Uh, and then there was uh, just, I, I wasn't really happy with how the mouse wheel speed felt in certain applications. So, you know, I found that I could customize it with IM wheel 
and even something simple like the fact that you have to enable sudo for your username uh, was something new to me because on you know Raspberry Pi it just works by default out the gate. And then doing some fun stuff like copying a file over SSH uh, and that was you know so easy and so straightforward. Or something less straightforward and totally uh, frustrating uh, but doable was transferring audio files from my, you know, like an MP3 file to my Kindle, you know, on Windows, you just plug it in and drag it over. And on this one, you had to have an MTPFS thingy going on. Um, and you had to, to mount and unmount the storage in order to get it to work. Um, and it was kind of slow. Um, but, you know, it was it was manageable. I, I ended up uh, switching over to just using the SD card and uh, things were a lot easier with an Android phone. Um, but even on the Android phone, uh, it has a CLI and you can run some of the same uh, functionalities uh, on there. So overall, my experience running a Debian Linux system in 2018 has been uh, a great learning experience and just a, a useful daily driver for at-home stuff. Now, I manage uh, Windows servers and Windows machines at work Uh and, you know, I, I live on a Windows system, but at home, you know, I, I thought it would be good to, to live in something different, to have a different experience. So I would encourage you all to have your year with Linux and make 2019 uh, a more interesting experience for yourself.